What's up everybody, it's Savage on Arcade here at Got to Game, and today we are looking at the Bloodborne Nightmare Edition Limited Edition Collector's Edition from Germany, actually, but it's from Europe. Everyone in Europe had a chance to get this special edition. Um, and as you can tell here, right in the top corner, it says New Elf PlayStation. Only on PlayStation. That's true, Bloodborne. Uh, it's from From Software. And yeah, I had ordered this through Amazon Germany. Um, if I had ordered it through Amazon UK, perhaps it would have been in an English box, but that's okay, because it's what's in the inside that counts. Uh, they had a special edition in the United States, which only had, a, I think, a steelbook edition and an art book, and Japan had a very cool Kirk hammer, if you're aware of the game and its weapons. It's a trick weapon that turns from a sword into a large hammer, and it's an actual letter opener for, for the Japanese market. I'm still looking to find that one to add to my collection, but for now, the Nightmare Edition is going to do me just fine. Now this retails for around, I would say, 100, 120 uh, euros. Uh, so yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later, but they shipped it all the way from Germany, which is really cool. You can see right here, they show you really cool bookcase style or books in here. And the box itself feels kind of like silicone. I don't know why, like silicone coated, but it's still just cardboard. I'm going to show you the sides real quick. And you can see some pictures, stuff from the game. And the back, of course, shows you what you're going to see inside and what drew me to collecting or buying this collector's edition. You'll see that it has a notebook and a, uh, the art book and uh, a steel bookcase with the game, of course, and, of course, the DLC that a lot of people have got. It's, uh, I believe, the soundtrack as well as some uh, messenger add-ons for your little characters and uh, just things you could add. But also, they gave you a calligraphy set, which is very cool in the shape of a madman's knowledge, and a beckoning bell, which you'll see up close later on. So let's open up the tabs here. You have two tabs on the top, and we'll just flip it open here. Now the first thing that surprised me of this about this actually is I thought the books, you know, that are stacked together was just going to be part of the cardboard. I didn't expect it to be an actual, um, you know, piece that you could use, or that it was going to be made out of cardboard inside of the other cardboard box. But no, this is actually a tin. It's metal, and it's all shaped, and it's very well made because even on the back side right here, there's ridges. You can feel like the actual bumps of the book covers. And I'll see if I can move the camera just a little bit so you can get a good idea of it uh, closer. But yeah, it looks like they're all various different books. You can feel the ridges here as I whirl across it, and I'll probably show you the indentations when I turn it around. On the side, it says Bloodborne. That's one book that says Bloodborne. On the other side, it also says Bloodborne, too. Um, there's a lot of books on Bloodborne, I guess. Yeah, and it's very detailed. They did a really great job with this. Uh, the books look real, just leather-bound, all decayed and archaic. Uh, it's very cool, and like I said, it's made out of metal. And you can see the ridges right here. See the indent? See it's rounded off? So it's not just a flat tin box. It's actually modeled or molded after a bunch of books put together. Then it just pops open in the lid. Now the first thing you see when you open it up is the actual game in the steel bookcase. And the steel book is pretty cool. I'm not really into steel books. I don't really care. But this is actually very nice. I like how the hunter really stands out. It's kind of shiny while everything else is kind of a matte. Also Bloodborne is, I believe, is also shiny. And in the back you just see more of the uh, Yarnum, the city that you play in. Inside, of course, is the game with the Peggy or the standardization of how they grade, you know, uh, the games out there. And of course, a little info booklet on the, in the moves and stuff. And I think in the back side also had, or the inside also had the music uh, download code. Underneath it, though, you also get the sheet to download the messenger gifts, basically like the top hats and little hats that they can wear. Which you also find throughout the game if you've been playing it. Secondly, in this next layer is the Bloodborne notebook. Now, all of these came in little plastic bags, but I already removed them. But this is just a notebook again with the hunter. And uh, it's pretty thick, and the pages look all aged and burned and ashen, and there's nothing in there, of course, and it just says Bloodborne on the bottom for each page, but it's just a notebook. I guess you can write notes, maybe write your theories and what you think Bloodborne is all about, uh, because a lot of it doesn't make sense, a lot of it actually doesn't really tell you uh, what's going on. I just want to get closer so you can see it's Bloodborne there. I know I got too close. I didn't, I didn't think the camera would see it the first time around. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good notebook. Uh, I don't think I would use it. The pages are a little bit um, different. They're, it's a good quality book, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it. There's no reason for me to actually write it. Third layer is the actual Bloodborne art book. Now it's a small, thin 
art book. It's a hardcover book. And again, it's just it's, it looks kind of like the steel book, just the cover of it, you know, the hunter in the front again. But it's a very detailed book, and it's actually in English. So you see, obviously, Blood Worm is the same thing as the title, but further on you see that it's all in English, which is interesting. So you see contents, prologue, world, and lots of good detailed shots of the world, concept art. There you see the porcelain doll that it helps you upgrade, and a couple of other villagers. Um, just a random ghost and another villager that's turning beastly. Those ugly crows and those dogs, and of course that beast guy with the hammer. It's a very cool boss monster you fight in the Chalice Dungeons. The detail on these art pieces are very good. I, I love the, the concept art. I'm a, I'm a sucker for concept art, so I really, really wanted to get this because it's awesome. And I hope they put out a bigger book, if I could find one. Here's the Cleric Beast. As you can see, it's a beast in other nightmares. Guns. Just like a little model sheet. Character sheet. There's the Kirk Hammer that I was telling you about that turns into a letter opener for the Japanese Collector's Edition. Filer Gascoigne. And the Ashen, I believe that's the Ashen Garb. More garb that you can find throughout the game. So yeah, it's got lots of good characters. Oh, there's Eileen from, uh, yeah, she's one of the Hunters of Hunters. A Hunter of Hunters. Yeah, so it's a very cool art book. Nice spine here with the Bloodborne logo on it. It's pretty cool. Let me put that aside. Next up is probably my favorite piece of this whole collection. But it's all great. And let me just remove it here. Is the, uh... It's also inside another little box here. You can see it's printed on here with some shiny ink. If get it closer to the camera, you can see what I'm saying. Ooh, see, I couldn't really see the camera, so there you go. I think I got a shot right there. I'm trying to get the shine on it. Just get the camera to focus. See, there you go. It's pretty neat that they put it inside another box. I know I'm emphasizing the box a little too much, but let's get inside. Ta -da. And here it is, it's the Beckoning Bell. Let's get it out of here. It's very nicely made, uh, cast in metal. I'm going to ring it so you can hear it. But it's really well, it's got all these cracks around it. It's really well made. Here you go. Searching for the chime of a resonant bell. See, it's very simple, but it's uh, it's nice. it's got a good weight. It's not super light. I just, I just think it's so awesome. It's like an actual piece of what the hunter uses in the game, and you have it for yourself. And it's chipped, it's aged, it's, it's just awesome. I love it because you can put it somewhere, and no one would know about it unless they play the game. So that's a very cool memento that you could have or add to your collection as well, if you're a big fan of Bloodborne. And lastly, uh, probably the biggest piece in the collection, and also what weighs down the collection considerably, and you'll see why, is the uh, calligraphy set. It's a nice other, it's a bigger box, a wider box, of course, to house everything inside. Let me just close the lid over here so we get rid of that shine and refocus the camera here. And pop out the lid. It's a good hefty box, just like the other one. On the back it also tells you that it's not, you know, it's it's not a toy, because literally you can stab somebody with the, the quill pen or kill somebody with the skull, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a few minutes. So there you go, it's really nice, it's got a nice crow feather, quill pen with three heads that you could use, and a skull that you use, the, I guess it's the fountain head, I guess you would call it, I'm not sure. I mean, I've used calligraphy in my art, but I, I don't have an actual well, inkwell, right? I think that's an inkwell. Uh, yeah, it's very hefty, and it's it's mo modeled after the Madman's Knowledge. If you play the game, you know that those are the ones that give you insight. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's, I mean, you don't want to drop it on your toes or, you know, throw it at somebody because you will kill them or knock them out. But it's got a, it's really well made. It's got a nice sheen to it. On the inside, you can tell they have the, where you're going to put the ink. And you can see on the bottom, later on right there, where you could just dump the ink in. And this is the bottle of ink that it comes with. Bloodborne Crimson Ink. And, yeah, of course, it, it's, it makes sense that it'd be in red, which is awesome. And it's got a wax seal on it. Now, I'm never going to open this. I already have plenty of calligraphy ink on my own. But I think it's just very, very cool that they added this. And you could probably use that to write in the uh, notebook you got in there. I'm not sure if the ink would actually stick so well, but that's still very cool. And it's just another awesome piece to add to your desk to make sure you, you know, show it off. Because this is that's what this is all about. Showing it off. Bragging to your friends that you got this cool collector's edition. Now, this edition is still available for everybody. 
I'm assuming it's still up there. I, I bought this maybe a couple of weeks after the game was out, and I still found it. So if you're interested in getting this, you can still go to the website and see if it's still available, and they will ship to the United States. And I got this at Amazon Germ uh, Germany, as I said in the beginning. And uh, it's a reasonable price and reasonable cost in shipping. And yeah, I mean, if you can find it anywhere else, go for it, but I think this is a really good price to get it. Um, that's it for the Bloodborne Nightmare Edition. It's a really great addition to add to my collection or any collector. I'm not a big fan of Dark Souls, but I, I do really like Bloodborne, so I had to get this. I'm a big fan. So I hope they make more games. And um, yeah, for more on Bloodborne or anything else, check us out at igotogame.com or follow me on Twitter at yougotogame. And, uh, and on Instagram, of course, as Got the Game. There's lots of Got the Game because that's what we are. So thanks for watching, and until next time, keep playing.